Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to episode 3 of KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series. And I am here at my base, and it is getting dark. But I wanted to show you a couple of little small things I have done. Um, I think I've shown you the farms and stuff real quick. Yay, farms. But uh, over here, where my cave was, there used to be a big entrance there. And I kind of covered it up. I didn't want a big entrance for my cave because things can crawl in and kill you while you're not paying attention. So yes, there is no door there because I do plan on having villagers and um, golem farms and stuff in this area. Because my spawn location is just right over my head right there where that light is kind of emanating from those pieces of grass. That is my spawn area. So I... Um, made this entrance I guess it used to be just a big open cave just to isolate myself a little bit and I also put some glass down here so because I was sick of trying to jump across over to this grass and not making it so I stole some glass from somewhere because I have a let's see I have the silk touch pick and I got the fortune 2 not fortune 3 but yeah, I'm working on it it's still early and of course I got the worker and I've got everything enchanted up to level 30 other than armor. I'm not really too concerned about armor. I normally aren't. I kind of have a, in, um, an argument with myself all the time about diamond armor. Should I wear it or should I not? So let's bid goodnight to our world. And let me show you what I did over here. Um, this is my original camp space I guess you could say there's no tent I made a little snowman you want to build I'm not going there oh. <laughs> cringes with the frozen if you have a little dot baby I shouldn't say baby if you have a daughter that's under 10 years old frozen will give you shivers bad but um I made the enchanted area got some of my old picks that I've used up and don't want to use anymore and I've made this little brewing area with stuff um, I am re-recording this session so I know at some point I showed this but I don't know if it was in the deleted footage or not so I'm just showing it again just to be thorough <laughs> so I also made the um, nether, nether portal which is wonderful and we all know this woolly thing from my past and I finished up downstairs um, something I should point out real quick if I go 200 blocks that way actually it's more like that way oh hi um, there's an ice spikes biome and I've never built with packed ice before so I decided to try it downstairs in my mind when I made it uh, finished off so I had initially had it finished and something was missing with it and I decided I watched a mumbo jumbo video and his base has packed ice in it so I decided you know why don't I put some packed ice in mine and it started looking really much too much like mumbo jumbo's thing so I don't know if I'm gonna change it but then I saw another mumbo jumbo video uh, with his base and it's really not um, too close to his at all I just I guess not too many people use packed ice to build with so uh, when you do it looks like somebody else's so let's look what I've done I've made a storage area so all my stuff that I could possibly need is in this wall you know mining wise I and mean, I don't have wood and stuff down here I do have food just in case you know I jump around a lot so I'm collecting that up I don't know if I'm gonna keep the food down here for good but I uh, finished off the ceiling and that's where I got the packed ice from. Um, this was originally just smooth stone and I decided to change it to packed ice and I think it works so I'm gonna keep it. What do you think of that? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. So um, this room is done and I have some massive space here which could be used for something but I don't know what so until I figure out what 
this is just gonna stay like this. Um, I'm gonna have some other rooms down here of some sort. What they are, I don't know. Maybe they'll invent something in the game and it will go, oh, well, I can grow coarse fruit down here or something like that. I don't know. I haven't decided. And unfortunately, I have these. I usually stay away from these because um, they don't look too good. But I was running across places that were a little too low light level wise and I needed to fix that. So, and I don't know what happened to my pants. I went to the nether with pants on, and I came out of the nether without pants on. That's good. Ne never go to the nether without pants, because, pss, gosh, you, we need the pants. We do need the pants. Meow. My cat's in the other room going, oh no, he's speaking to himself again. Let's, let's talk with him. So... He's answering me in the other room. I don't think it's probably picked up on the mic because most of his stuff I don't usually hear. And so I am going to show you something else I've been working on. And it's not this. I finally made finished this 250 long mining thing with the with the hole cutouts every four blocks. And I'm still running with less than 10 diamonds total in the world. But, um, I was talking about stages in Minecraft. I have to pay attention because sometimes when this kicks out, the minecart lands right there. That's no good. Um, and one thing I'm missing in this world is an XP farm. So, if I'm going to the nether after, say, an XP farm, I'm either... XPing off these guys? No. I am not XPing off zombie um, pigmen. I could be XPing off blazes. Mm. I think one of my cats is sneezing. Or I could be XPing off gas, which would be really fucking cool. I finally swore. Um, because a gas farm, you know, unlimited uh, tiers, but I haven't figured out a good one for that yet. So I am at another fortress and I hear one now. Where are you? And he's probably on top. I'm going to ignore his existence. And I'm just going to go over, you can see a little bit of it there, down, I'm going to go down, I'm going to remember how to get to this place, and I set this, hey mister, give me a skull, hi, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, yes, so here we go, um, it's obviously not done, I'm still working on it, but there is those things yeah and you hear there's pistons initially when I made this basically to say it pretty easily these things you see how they're in a two tall area here they won't fly up and out of here once they're there they're stuck there kind of like chickens or us unless they see us they won't rise up so they just sink down so, if they saw me, they would rise up and attack and, you know, catch on fire and stuff. But seeing that they don't see me, they just sink down and they'll jostle around and they'll move down to the next level down. And once they get down to this area that you can't really see it, let's see if I can... It's one, two, three, four, you know, it's, it's a nine, three by three area with pressure plates with a hole in the center. And if they step on any of those pre pressure plates... A couple of pistons come out <coughs> and push them to the center in which they fall down. And believe it or not, that's a very easy mechanic. And you figure 10, uh, 10 sticky pistons, no big deal. But that was the hardest part about this farm. Not, not the turning off the spawner or 
tearing down the turning off the spawner. That wasn't hard because you drink a do I, you drink one of these fire resistant potions and you can play with blaze farms all day long and you're not going to get hurt. I mean, they will hit you kind of like a zombie, but they're not going to come after you. So the only time they hit you is when they bump into you by accident and they take like a heart and a half, two hearts maybe. So if you have the fire resistance on, they're not going to catch you on fire and there's no nothing really to worry about. As a matter of fact, the worst thing is that you'd fall off and fall into lava more than you'd be killed by these things. So if you're working with blaze farms or working with blazes, um, you have to do the fire resistance. Don't even think of doing it unless you have access to fire resistance potions. So let's go down to the circuitry. I, I've had a gas spawn in here because I haven't half slabbed or anything in this yet. So this is going to be some sort of, I don't know what I'm going to build here yet. But I do have to put half slabs on the floor to make it uh, spawn proof down here. But as you can see, um, it doesn't take long to get a lot of things. So basically that stops them from coming down. That uh, There's a piston that pushes that block out. You hit this and it's just a crusher and it crushes them within a half a heart so you can go over there when it's done and just keep whacking or if I had a um, harming potion I could just hit them with harming and I just collect their blaze rods and collect their XP and the best thing about blazes is that their XP is twice as much as normal mob so with that said it's probably the smartest farm to make when you first start out I have this walled off kind of this was also based partially on the mumbo jumbo design I, I should dedicate the series to mumbo jumbo I should change the name from KMA's jams to KMA's mumbo jumbos <laughs> but I won't um, so there's two pistons here this one is the one with the glowstone the top one which stops them from coming out or coming all the way down and the other piston is the crusher let's see if I can that is a crusher block so the glowstone for the top piston comes in like or not the glowstone the redstone comes in from behind the lever there's a lever up front and as you see it's turned on right now and it just comes up here and it hits this piston and seeing that this is a transparent block or you can put a half slab there it's not going to transfer its energy to the second piston down here and that's because of the transparent block so the other glowstone or redstone why am i keep saying redstone is attached to this button you need that pulse that goes through it comes into this timing clock basically which keep you know times out how long it's going to crush the things it goes through a couple of um or actually one repeater then it goes through five comparators it goes up like this into this block down and around and here's that little clock and back and some more clocks and stuff to delay the uh, turning on and the turning off and it is set up somehow I didn't magically do this because I suck with timing with redstone but it turns out it crushes them within a half of heart of their death so you can just squish them and that's really loud in my headphones so I tend not to talk when that's happening so you can just hit them and do that with them and it's and it's pretty good let me throw these up there I don't need those right now so I have unlimited blaze rods and XP now so what I got to do down here is make a finish off this room somehow. You can tell me in the description how what design you would like, what blocks I should use. I'm staying away from wood. I don't like using wood in the Nether um, because there might be a lava block like two blocks away here, and I don't know it, and it burns the whole thing down, and then that would be cool. So. I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm gonna do with this room. I'm probably just gonna block it off here 
light it up back here. Um, but I was going to have a big open space so you can see this thing from all different directions, but it's really not a pretty thing to look at. And I might change some of the blocks here. And that platform is just the best place to stand. And I want to be able to make sure it's a safe area. Um, because right now, I come up here and there could be mobs up here. I've come up here and sat here and looked and I got attacked by a wither skeleton. So it's not really that safe. Um, let me go upstairs and show you what it looks like from the top before I leave this area. So in the early stages, it's really important to get an XP farm going. Oh, I, I they'll see me somehow from over here. I don't know how they do it, but this is what it looks like from the top. And you can see, <clears throat> I just took the area, the nine by nine area and made a square around it, then brought it in one, made another square, then went two down and brought it in one, made another square, then went down two more and made that last square with the pressure plates and the pistons. And it's just kind of like the ender and, you know, where you, uh, an enderman would step on a pressure plate and the piston would come and push them into the middle so they'd fall down. So, this is a work in progress. Tell me what you think blocks I should use. I'm going to finish clearing out some of this redstone. Oh, redstone. What is this netherrack? I'm not using the right words for stuff today. So let's plop this thing. And I was saying, the hardest thing... Well, I can tell you this on the way back. The hardest thing that I ran into while making that was not the blazes themselves. Actually, I did die. And I'll tell you that the blazes were shooting each other inside there and I had my fire resistance so I didn't really care too much but there was a pigman in there and one of the blazes hit the pigman so the pigman got mad at me and I was done on the inside and had to shoot down to the bottom part where I crushed the thing and there was an angry pigman down there and that was my only way out so I jumped in there I figured I could kill the pigman before he killed me but he killed me and um, that was my first and only death so far on here uh, was a pigment inside that <laughs> blaze farm. You figure it would be from a blaze making a blaze farm, but it was from a pigment. And so, um, ooh, gas. When I was making that, the hardest thing I came across. It's still nighttime. Oh, is it just getting day, or is it just raining? Let me just see if I can sleep. No. Okay, so it's just raining. The hardest thing I found with that was um, I had those slime blocks. And there's a swamp a few hundred blocks, blocks away from here. And I went to the swamp and I spent a couple of nights in the swamp. And it wasn't even high... Um, you know, full moon. It was like partial moons. And I wasn't getting any slime. So after wasting about an hour trying to get slime and getting none, uh, an hour in real life, I said, screw this. So I got a mist out, uh, which is a program where you can bring up your world in a map style. And I brought up uh, spawn chunks or slime chunks on a mist, which is something you can do. Or you could go to Slime Trunk Finder, which is a website. I just usually um, <clears throat> type in Google, find Slime Trunks in Minecraft online, and it will, something along those lines, and it will uh, tell you where your Slime Trunks are. So that's what I did, and I found a Slime Trunk and made a little slime farm to, you know, help with the acquiring of slime so I can make that stupid uh, blaze farm because those slimes were giving me a real hard time and it is not completely dark down here so mobs do form down here as you can see it's lower than light 7 here but slimes are there it's the old good old setup you know you stick a cactus in the middle of a slime trunk with a hopper thing going into a chest and you stick one of these guys on top 
Hey Bilbo, how you doing? How's that nose? When are you gonna get that nose ring, dude? Yeah, okay, yeah, I know you think I'm crazy, but... I don't know about these golems. But anything that really spawns down here is gonna try and attack the golem. I don't know if skeletons will shoot them to death or whatever. But anyways, they'll go into this and they'll eventually die. And the slimes will drop. There's only four balls in there because I stole all the slimes to finish off the blaze farm not too long ago. So that is the update of this world. And I am going to go back inside where it's safe. I don't know if I also told you this. Oh yeah, I must have told you this earlier. Um, yeah, I did tell you this earlier. Ice spikes, a couple of hundred blocks that way. Pretty weird to have an ice spike spy them right next to me. And I've never, not since when I first started playing Minecraft, have I been in a winter biome like this. So it's kind of weird. I just want to check something real quick. Yeah. You know what? Believe it or not, this is going to do it for the episode. It is running kind of long. It has been, well, not kind of long. It's running exactly where it should be. It's kind of been a talky episode. I haven't done a damn thing on here other than show you things I've done offline. So I'm sorry about that. But it's been fun. Um, I had a day off and I was able to do a lot of stuff. Um, so that's why a lot of stuff was done off of camera. But it was okay because I needed to set myself up for the future. So now I am pretty much set up. I just got to enchant a whole bunch of books, get some good armor. Uh, find some more diamonds. Diamonds going to be the bane of this existence for me in this uh, particular world. But I hope you like the progress of the uh, world. And let me know if you have any other projects you want me to work on or anything I might be forgetting to work on that will help the world out. Um, but next time, I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably finish up the blaze farm and keep, I don't know, breeding so I can have lots and lots and lots of food. Maybe start working on some villages soon I don't know what my future is because I haven't really thought about it on here too much other than the basic stuff but I hope you enjoyed this little tour of what I've done in the last couple of days and have a good day it's Keith for KMA's Corner Corner <laughs> I hope you are liking this KMA's Jams series and I will see you next time maybe Monday if this video goes up on Friday, that's my goal. Monday, maybe? Monday? Monday? It will be November. I hope you survive Halloween. Whoa, ha, 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 ha.